Hey, it's Michael Quinn here, Flavors of New York. I'm here in Park Slope, Brooklyn at Aunt Butchie's Park Slope Cafe. Let's go check it out. Hey, we got the old crew here today. Hey, Look hey, at this. Hey, how are you? Good to you see you. What's going on? All right, How's awesome. Everything? Thanks for having me. Thank you very much. Go on. Yeah, have a seat. Please. I'm here with Joe, the manager. Hi, I'm Joe Patillo. Mike. Mike Santorino. And my boy Frank. Frank Santo. Listen, I've been a fan of Ann Butchie's for over 20 years. You guys had the location, Old Mill Basin. Tell me at the beginning, it didn't start at that location. It started somewhere else, right? Yes, we started in Bayridge, Brooklyn on 69th and 13th. We moved to Mill Basin. We opened the place in Jet Blue in the Kennedy Terminal. We opened the one in Manhattan in the Staten Island Ferry Terminal. We have a restaurant in New Jersey, Marlboro, New Jersey, and we have a restaurant in Tottenville. And we opened this week here in Park Slope, which we're very excited about. Now, why'd you choose the name Aunt Butchie? You had a, you considered another name, right? That maybe didn't fit too well, but tell me about that. Well, my nickname is Stinky. I want the name of Stinky's Bakery, but who's gonna buy cake from Stinky's? So my mother's nickname was Aunt Butchie's, and we named it after her. Tell me what you have on the menu here at this location. We've got sandwiches, salads, and paninis. We're trying to cater to the area. It's a very small place, as you can see. We have got 20 seats. So we don't have a big menu, we want customers in and out. Tell me what the neighborhood's like compared to, let's say, we start in Bay Ridge, right? Uh, Old Mill Basin, you have been in a few locations. How is this neighborhood different here in Park Slope? What are the customers like that come here? So the neighborhood's been wonderful. It's been very welcoming to us. They know about Aunt Butchie's that's been around for a long time. They keep asking the cakes and everything else, and they're very excited we brought food into the neighborhood. A different type with the paninis, the pasta, the soups, the salads, and of course, the legendary desserts that we do. Joe Bay, what's your favorite items on the menu? Tell me. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we gonna have today? Whatever you guys want. You're gonna have the Irish Kanish. <laughs> Try one of those. Maybe we give you some appetizer for a meatball. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll pick another, we'll give you a little pasta. Mm -hmm. We'll fatten you up today. Okay, I need that, yeah. <laughs> don't forget desserts. Desserts, yeah. Don't forget the desserts, save them all. Yes, this is Kanish. We put it in here first to toast it up a little bit before we before we build the sandwich. At Bella Carina, we make our own horseradish mayo. Just to give it a little bit of a different taste than a regular mayo. We try to we try to do a lot of the basics with a little bit of our own twist on it. And a bacon we use slab bacon. We get a nice thick line thick of slab bacon. We cook it on the barbecue just to give it a little bit of a smoky flavor. A little bit of mustard on both sides, Swiss cheese, and of course, pastrami. This is for the Bella Carina. Chicken, tomato, romaine lettuce, onion, bacon's almost ready. While these are cooking, we're going to do our meatballs. Now for our meatballs, we do three on a platter. Throw those on the barbecue and heat them up. We put some whipped cream up there that we make here, and we finish it with a roasted long pot. Top it with a little marinara sauce, a little grated cheese, some pecorino romano. Charred long kind of I'm gonna give you a rigatone pasta. Yes.
chopped parsley, grated cheese, and uh, just garden with uh, fresh basil, flower basil. So Michael, what do we have here? So we're starting off with our appetizer. We have a fried meatball with whipped rigatta and a long hot. The rigatta we make, we whip it ourselves. We put some olive oil, heavy cream, and just salt and pepper to taste. Then we have our pasta dish, which is a rigatoni with bolognese sauce. That has beef, pork, carrots, peas, with an Italian tomato that we use. And then the Irish exit, was we started something different here, a knish with mustard, Swiss, mm -hmm. and pastrami. Okay. And they have to try first. I'm digging into the meatballs. So tell me, what kind of meat is used here? Is we it... use pork and beef. Oh, nice. I love this. Make it nice and Oh soft. my God, you weren't kidding. Wow, these are great. Oh my God, so meaty and juicy. Put the cheese. Oh my God, it's so good. Mmm, excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we're here, I'll try some of this pasta. This looks good too. That has a meat, and, uh, beef, and pork also. Mix. Oh, excellent. Great mix. Mmm, very good. Excellent. Good. Okay. So right here, of course, the Irish eggs. Now the Irish eggs. I'll show you like this, like a regular knish. Just like a regular knish. Like you just, like you just finished playing ball in the park. For this Irish man. Mmm. <laughs> pastrami? Pastrami inside with Swiss wow. and mustard. This is really tasty. Mmm. I like this one. This is excellent. We have one more sandwich coming out for you, Mike. And it is the best. It's a Karina Bella. Oh my god. You're not kidding. Look at that sandwich. Wow. Oh my god, this looks delicious. Take a look at that. Michael, what is in this sandwich? Oh, we start off with a house-made horseradish mayo, chicken cutlets. We use a slab bacon that we cut and put on the barbecue to give it a little bit of a more smoky flavor. Tomato, lettuce, onion, and topped with mozzarella. There's one hell of a sandwich in it. It tastes delicious. Crispy too. Oh my God, delicious. And what else is in it? Tomato? Tomato, chicken. lettuce, chicken, mm -hmm. fried chicken. Is there ham there too? Bacon. Bacon. It's wow, it's like a ba slab bacon. Wow, that type of bacon. Wow, it's so delicious. Just adds such a great flavor to it on top of everything else. Thank you. Incredible. So, Mike, before you finish all this goodness, save some room for dessert. What are we gonna have? We're gonna have our famous cheesecake cone and chocolate mousse. Oh my God, I love cheesecake. Sounds delicious, bring it on. That is delightful. And this one, what's by oh, far our biggest boy. seller, is an almond cheesecake cone. The cone is made of butter, sugar, and almonds, and filled with our famous New York cheesecake. Wow, holy. We sliced it up for you, so it's easier for you to eat, so you don't have to bite it on nice. pieces. Holy cannoli, look at this. I'll start with this maybe, a little piece here. We'll get that in there. Oh, it's nice and creamy. Oh. oh, here we go. Oh boy. Forget about Lent. <laughs> oh my god. What's it? A cream of ice cream? Butter, sugar, and almonds filled with a New York cheesecake. And we recommend you eat it frozen. Holy god. Smooth as butter. It's so delicious. God. Right here, we have here. It has a chocolate mousse, Belgium chocolate mousse with an Oreo crust. Wow. You got that? Oh my god. So smooth and rich. I like that it's not too sweet. It's sweet, but just perfect. Mm. And the texture, it's so soft. To go for a second one, especially with the whipped cream here. Mm. Oh my god. I'm in heaven. It's so, so good. I want to thank Joe, Michael, and Frank. Thanks for having me guys here at Aunt Butchie's Park Slope. Thank you, Mike. Thanks for coming. Thank you very much for coming. Make sure you come down here to Aunt Butchie's Park Slope, 5th Avenue and 6th Street. Check it out. Michael Quinn, Flavors of New York. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Michael.